Hey there, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Do I sound annoyed? Because I am. Oh my god. Yesterday and today I have been working to try to get this freaking game to work. And, um, eventually I finally decided to, um, oh, what is it, verify the game cache or whatever it's called? on Steam. And that finally got this game working, which I was so, so happy about. Except, in all the jumble of, like, trying to get this game working, like, at first I thought maybe it was, like, a peripheral device doing something. I don't know. I don't know what. But, like, I don't... <laughs> I am so just not not happy right now. <laughs> I can't even talk. Anyways, I finally got this game working, but in the shuffle of me trying to get this game working, I actually got, like, un unplugged any USB devices that I had. Except, the problem with my computer is, if I don't have a USB device plugged in when I start a program, that program will not um, recognize the USB device that is plugged in. I don't know why. I don't know what's causing it. It's annoying, yes, but that's just how it is. It, and because of that, I take great care every single time sure. I start up like wraps a and okay. a game to make sure that I have, you know, the USB recognized on fraps except today because today I was like so bamboozled by this freaking game not starting and trying to fix it etc etc and then I was just so freaking happy that it finally worked that I was just impatient to get going on the game and that ended up in me you know not having my microphone on for about Oh, I don't know. A very long time. Basically, I completely finished um, this quest. I completely finished this quest without my microphone on. And I just figured it was just too much of gameplay without commentary. Hello, you must be the outsider everyone's talking about. I mean, I would normally leave it in if it's like maybe, I don't know, maybe an hour at the most of footage that I don't have my microphone on but I it was just too much you know way too much uh, you can have that so yeah here I am playing through this part again because I don't want to have like how long was that? That was at least three hours of recording. Yeah, at least three hours of recording. I didn't want all that to not have commentary, so... Yeah, here I am, doing this. Ah, annoyed. And you know, when I started... When I started the recording the first time, I was really happy because I got this game working and I was just so happy. But no, <laughs> I can't get things, you know, have things stay happy. Oh god, I sound like such a downer. I sound like such Thanks. a freaking, I don't know, gloomy gloom gloom. But... <laughs> What do you expect? I mean, I... Why are you sitting? I thought maybe you somehow got on the way here command, but no. Ugh. Alright. Get in here, people. You too. Okay. Oh, and I have decided that I'm going to call him Ganon, because I don't know how to say his name. I mean... If you're just reading that as a word, I'm sure it would be called Arcade, but I don't want to call him Arcade because it doesn't sound like that's how his name is supposed to be. I can't imagine him being actually called Arcade. So, 
my guess was Arcade or something, I don't know. So, in order to save myself the embarrassment of potentially pronouncing his name horrendously wrong, I have just decided to stay on the safe side and call him Ganon. Okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh man, I am just so pissed right now. And I know, like, I didn't have to do this. I didn't have to come back and re-record these videos. But I figured, you know, if I'm gonna make videos and put them on YouTube, why not just have them be the best that I can make them? Well, actually, that's not really true because I do tend to have crappy videos once in a while. Actually, most of my videos are crappy. What am I talking about? Haha. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. What did I do after this? Right, I went and read the things because that's what I'm supposed to do. I read a lot of documents in that recording period too, so I'm just gonna have to read them all over again. Oh, so excited! Funny thing is, most of you probably uh, prefer my pissed off commentary to my normal. Anyways, access data store, yay! Elder dismissal incidents, yay! Okay, incident number one. Let it be recorded that on this day, Raymond Lorne was dismissed from his post as elder for committing the crime of murder. Brother Lorne was known to have hostile feelings towards the victim, senior scribe Ritter. The guilty party insists that Ritter's death was a tragic case of friendly fire. The bunker was under attack at the time, but the tribunal felt they could not let him persist as elder with such suspicion hanging over him. Incident two. Be it known that from this day, Kenneth Jones shall no longer bear the title of Elder. Brother Jones has willfully gone against the chain that binds and has been forced to step down. Head Paladin Lindquist succeeds him as Elder. Let the record show that I have stood witness to the dismissal of David James from the post of Elder. Brother James was charged with destroying an unknown device recovered from a recent expedition. The purpose and function of the device remain unknown, and Brother James has thus far proven unwilling to discuss the matter with anyone. Like that unfortunate. Robots are now using tech we've never heard of. Alright. We need to send a team up there soon. Let us go back to Remos. And he's all the way back at the beginning. So we have to go. Whoa. You doing squats there? <laughs> it almost looked like he just dropped out of the sky there. That was kinda weird. Although there is no sky, the ceiling. Whatever. Hi, what are you doing the facing the wall like oh, hey that? Something. Were you in timeout? Uh, one of the data store's entries mentioned the chain that binds. What is that exactly? That's an old, old principle that's been around since the Brotherhood was founded. It basically means that you have to obey a superior officer. It's pretty much common sense, but it gets invoked a lot when people get pissy about following orders. If you're curious, I'll give you access to the data store entry on it. You'd probably be the first to read it in years, if not decades. Alright. You know, it's rather nice of him to be so oddly compliant of my curiosities. But, uh, sure. Whatever. It helps me. Actually, it helps Harden. It just helps me get a quest done for Harden. Hmm. I'm really not sure about Harden though. Harden versus the Elder. I mean, I don't know which is preferable. Chain that binds. The chain that binds is the cornerstone of our organization, the rock that supports the great tree of the Brotherhood and its myriad branches. It holds that, one, orders are to flow from on high down through the ranks. That's really weird. An order from a superior must always be obeyed, and that their wisdom may be carried out without hesitation. 2. Orders are to be observe the flow and not skip ranks. The superior may only give orders to his direct subordinates and not to those beneath them. In this way, harmony of intent and cohesion of thought is maintained. Okay. And now... Now let's go talk to... Harden. Uh, okay, you see in here? Yes. What is it, Outsider? Have you discovered- Yeah, do you know anything about the chain that 
binds. I could hardly call myself head paladin if I didn't. It's one of the first things every initiate learns when they start training. What about it? Uh, one of the few times an elder was dismissed was due to it. I could be wrong, but I think that's a dead end. McNamara's always followed orders, and we've been incommunicado since fleeing Helios. Um, did you know there's a second part to it? Second part? What are you talking about? It says a superior is not allowed to give orders to the men under his subordinate. That is the standard procedure, yes. For example, McNamara gives orders to head scribe Taggart, who then relays further orders to the scribes. I wasn't aware that failing to do so was punishable, however. Interesting. If we can just find an instance where McNamara went around someone and gave orders to the subordinates, we'll have him. Why do you dislike Na McNamara so much? It's not that I dislike the Elder, but I strongly disapprove of his current style of leadership. We're safe, yes, but at what cost? And what do you think about the lockdown? It's a travesty is what it is. Every second we sit on our hands down here is another second that we're not fulfilling our sworn duty. What is your sworn duty anyways? And yeah, what would you do if you became Elder? After lifting the lockdown, the first thing I'd do is send scouts out to recon the area. We need to know what's going on out there. Next, I'd resume patrols in the near vicinity, and begin sending search teams out to the spots the scouts reported were relatively safe. It's standard procedure when a chapter relocates to an area. But standard procedure wasn't our last Elder's style, either. Mm hmm. Elijah was a strange one. His even becoming Elder was highly questionable, seeing as how he was a scribe. Typically, only paladins are eligible. But an exception was made in his case on account of him being a genius. Unfortunately, whatever scientific acumen he had didn't extend to tactics. Trying to defend Helios was a blunder of the worst kind. And many brothers lost their lives because of it. Many of the senior paladins, myself included, advised him to fight a retreating action. But he refused to budge. Said he almost had it working. We never did find out exactly what he was talking about. When the perimeter was finally overrun, the Elder had simply vanished. Huh, interesting, all right. Well, the Elder has me looking for lost patrols and retrieving their mission disks. Yes, I know the loss of the patrols has weighed heavily on his mind for some time. He took it very personally when they first went missing. That was when I first began to seriously question his ability to lead us. A commander has to be able to deal with the potential loss of his men. It's strange that he would ask you to find mission disks on them, however. The missing paladins were all on standard patrols, which don't need them. Only brothers sent on special assignments are given mission disks. If you should find any on the lost patrols, let me know. All right. Well. Hmm. So Harden. Harden wants the Brotherhood to obviously expand out into the real world, while McNamara wants to play it safe. But then, why did McNamara want the mission disks? That is a fishy matter indeed. Alright. Um, yeah. Let's go do the rest of the quest then. Since, um, since that's all that's left of this quest. And it actually involves stepping outside. Yay! Finally leaving this little rat hole. I suppose it's not very nice of me to call it a rat hole, but... Ugh. There's a rather cramped space down there. And me? I like wide open spaces. Yeah, Death Claws continue to establish nests across the Mojave Wasteland. <laughs> I noticed! Okay, well. I think first we shall be going to... The Air Force Base, because we have a direct fast travel there. Hmm. 
Right. Let's go look for them. Her -her. I mean, it's a good thing they have those little... I don't know what they are. <laughs> GPS? <laughs> they have little trackers on them. Summary, Paladin, Razalane. Razalan? Razalane? <laughs> Wait a minute. Paladin, Raz... Is that that yellow girl's... Yellow girl? I'm sorry. Yellow-haired girl's... Mom? I wonder... if I don't know why I suddenly had that thought, but I... Because she said her mom was a paladin. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Paladin Razaline. You and an escort are to investigate the military base at the northeast for the component we need. Components we need. For what? What do you need it for? We've had reports that the current occupants are fiercely territorial, but it's highly unlikely they have any weapons that can seriously threaten someone in full power armor. The threat level is considered minimal. Yeah... You didn't exactly count on them having rockets today. You know what? All those times when I was like, what the hell, why are they glowing green? It's because of Rex's perk. My god. How did I not notice that until now? It's because I generally forget what Rex's perk even is. Anyways, the other one is at Black Mountain, sort of. Long haul. You can fast travel even when you are over encumbered. That's nice, but um, that doesn't mean it drops you right in front of the merchant. Ugh, radiation. Da da da. R. Rex. And. So. Yeah, this place. Isn't this place just lovely? With yeah. super mutants and everything. Um. There we go. Holy shit. My what? Ah! No. Let me out. Ugh. Jeez. I <laughs> fell into a freaking hole. Sledgehammer. Where'd the other guy go? What'd you guys do with the corpse of the other guy? Where'd he die? Uh, whatever. Mm, sure, let's make one. Why the fuck not? Gonna kill you. Oh jeez. Why do you always go to Rex? <laughs> I don't want to attack Rex. Come on. No, no. No, up. Thank you, God. He wasn't as hard as the other ones. Advanced radiation poisoning? Are you kidding me? Radiation is quite the issue in this game. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. At least I have the perk that gives more healing for radiation. Oh no. 
is the first bobby pin that I've broken in a while. Lots of money. More money. Yay. Hmm. Now, I'm kind of worried that it's going to be too dark, but that doesn't help because my flashlight's pointed downwards. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I knew they were there because of last time I played, but they still <laughs> fucking surprised me. Oh, is that even, like... A surprise anymore that I got surprised at everything in the fucking world. Hmm. Actually, I know you're up there. Oh god, don't do that. I said don't do that. Oh wow. No, you put him out of my shooting range. Well. Sniper? I'm not sure I would call that a sniper. I would more like... I mean, I thought snipers would be like... People who have... Sniper guns. <laughs> what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Heal my poor limbs. I have yet to use a doctor's bag. But like, that's because... I'm such a stingy little bitch that um... I want to use doctor's bags when I have like a majority of limbs broken, which means like at least three or more. <laughs> Although that's that's not bound to happen a lot. What does that sound? That's the radio. Ew, there's ba ew, ew. Uh, well, let's go up here and loot the dude. Annabelle. Wow. It is... I have 51 missiles? Where the hell did I get that many? And it is full condition. Holy shit. Hunting rifle, screw that shit. What does this do? I can still move with Annabelle in my inventory. So it's kind of funny to call it Annabelle, but that's what it's called, I mean. What does that do? Storage building. I love storage. Cause it means stuff for me to take. Treasure hunt. To whom it may concern. AKA you. Oops. We got some pretty good stuff last or from the last raid, and unlike last time, I don't want any incidents. Uh, the only logical conclusion was to hide everything throughout this room. If you can read this, you have my permission to use any items you can find. Stuff I hid, missile launcher, missiles, bricks of C4, frag grenades, super stim pack, and various ammo. Your benevolent, lo blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Your benevolent supreme overlord, Tabitha. How is that thing like... I don't think it's glowing. I think it's my pit boy thing. No, it's still glowing. <laughs> Key. Now, I found a lot of stuff last time I came here, but, I mean, uh, oh my god, my weight. I have weight issues. Annabelle, you're a bit too heavy for me. I am sorry to say. Oh yeah, and I kept that laser rifle so I could do stuff. Repair. 
Yeah, I kept the to-do stuff. For her. Uh, 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 laser, laser rifle. Repair. Thank you. Alright, awesome. Now, <laughs> you should see me last time. I actually went through and, like, removed all of these pots. And, you know what? It wasn't a waste, because I actually got... Why is your cap all glowy? Are they all like that? Oh, they are. Huh. Great physics. Star bottle cap. Thank you. There you are. I did find that last time, so I need to look for it. And uh, Rex. I'm actually gonna take some empty... Empty... Rex, you are pissing me off right now. Right here. I know it's odd that I'm taking these, but you'll see why later. Or some of you may already know. Now, I don't quite remember where everything was, so... This is still gonna take a little bit of time. Actually, where was... Ah, uh, it was here. Super stim pack. Um, I don't know, I guess... I guess it would have been nice to preserve my original run of this, but I mean, it's not like you could hear my reaction or anything. You just see me doing stupid things and this time you wouldn't have any... Pick it up! Thank you. Jeez. You wouldn't have any explanation, that's what I meant to say. Bring it. Is there a way that I can control, like, how it's twisted while I'm holding it? Can I wasty? No, I 